What's up my guys, so I'm here with another how to video. This video is the most important video that you're going to watch on GTA today. In fact, probably for the rest of the year. This video is going to show you how to solo get through all the doors and lift all the gold. Yeah, you don't need a second player. You don't need the two key cards. All you need to do is follow the steps in this video in order to get through the doors and get all the gold. So here we go. So yeah, we've just spawned in my guys from the drainage tunnel. You come up the steps, the first building here, this first door, you want to position your character to the left of this door. Okay, once she's positioned there, push your head to the right, and then the camera is the most important bit. You want to get the camera so that it's at the tip of both of your toes, like so. Then you want to push your left thumbstick directly to the left and then pull in the left trigger. Not together, not at the same time, uh, separately, but very quickly separately. So here we go, left trigger and left in. You see the way she sort of glitched into the door, but she didn't open the door. That means we almost hit it, but just didn't in that instance. So position your camera exactly like that to the top of the toes and then left thumbstick to the left and left trigger and voila that's the door open once the door opens hold in the left thumbstick do not take your finger off your buttons then you want to uh, push your left thumbstick forward um, and then you want to let go of the left trigger and start tapping your axe button to run into the room like so if you don't do that the door will close behind you and then you're screwed you need to redo it again Okay my guys, so we've just done that bottom door, um, we're going to come up to this next building. Uh, this does have two doors, but you don't want to be hitting that one on the side, it doesn't work, you want to come to the front door. Uh, and like the last door, you need to position your player in a certain position, this time on the right hand side of the door, with the left arm slightly covering that handle. Um, it's a wee bit hard to do with the, the shadow at the minute, the tapping them with the sun, um, but yeah, you want to be covering that handle. Just like so, then you want to pull the head to the left. Uh, your camera then is the most important bit. Bring it right down to the bottom and then bring it up until it sort of zooms out itself uh, and then tilt the camera slightly to the right. Once you've done that, you're doing the exact same as you did on the last door, only this time with your left thumbstick, you're pushing it directly to the right and then you're hitting the left trigger. So here we go. That time didn't get the camera obviously right so again camera back down and bring it up a bit until it zooms out tilt it a wee bit to the right there we go again hold the buttons once the door opens push the left thumbstick directly forward uh, and then as you let go of the left trigger you want to be tapping on the axe button and you run into the room okay my guys so the the last building that you can get in um, is this one here just by the corridor um, sorry this door here and yeah exactly the same as the last one there you want to position the character on the right hand side of the door slightly covering the door handle with her head exactly like that bring the camera down and then bring it out a wee bit until it sort of zooms out tilt it a wee bit to the right and then left thumbstick to the right and then trigger in As you see it didn't work that time, so we'll give it another bash. Um, position in the character I find to be a bit difficult sometimes. Um, bring the camera down, bring it out and then to the right. Yeah, the character is too much to the right there of that door. There we go, that's perfect. Just with the, 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 the left arm covering the door handle. Bring the camera down. And bring it out till it zooms out a bit, tilt it a wee bit to the right, and there we go. Straight in. Again, I'm holding the left thumbstick still to the right and the trigger in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push my left thumbstick now to a uh, forward position. I'm still holding in the trigger. Now I'm going to let go of the trigger and start pushing the uh, punching away there at the axe button in order to run into the room. 
Uh, if you don't do that, the door will just close and you need to redo it again. Thanks for watching, my guys, another zone video. Um, I hope it really helped you. And yeah, just keep practicing at the glitch on the doors. You don't get it first time. The first time I did it, it took me one hour, 33 minutes to get through all the doors. Practice makes perfect. Uh, appreciate all the views. Appreciate all the comments. Comment below if you got through first time. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.